So this is a better look of, uh, at all my pens. Um, I kind of group them by, uh, by brand or the kinds that are similar. Uh, and then I've got a bit of a pile here, which is, um, individuals. So I figure I will, this is just going to be a chatty video. I'm just chatting. Um, so I'll go, I'll start from, uh, right to left. Um, in no order, I just, that's the way I put them. Um, so these ones, for those who don't know, are the uh, Pilot uh, Kakuno uh, pens, and I will likely mispronounce something, and I'm sorry if I do that. Um, so I have to say this one this was my first fountain pen. Um, so Celia at, uh, Celia at uh, Scientist Plans uh, recommended that I go with um, this one to start. They're really inexpensive. Um, I grabbed uh, an extra fine initially, which I didn't like because it was uh, way too fine um, for me. Uh, I thought I wanted extra fine, but turns out I'm not an extra fine person. Um, so I ended up going with a fine and I absolutely love it. It is wonderful. Uh, these are actually made to be uh, for kids. <laughs> so they're fountain pens for kids. Um, so they're inexpensive, they're friendly, and I don't know if you can see on the screen or not. It might not zoom in. But there's a little happy face. This guy's a winky face. So each one of them has uh, a different one. Um, and these ones even have, like this one's a baby. Uh, they're hard to see. Some of them are, have a little bow and whatever. They're cute. They're for kids. So why not, right? Um, anyways, I have the I have a couple of fine, I think half of fine and half are medium. Um, they both, they all write super smooth. So I honestly, even though these don't look as like the fanciest, most professional, I guess, uh, compared to some of the other fountain pens. I like them. They're super inexpensive. Like they're under 20 bucks. Um, and they write really smoothly. They're demonst these ones are demonstrators. So you can see through them. Uh, and then you can get some that aren't. Um, but I really like them. So I like to put uh, bright colors. So, like this one has Dietramentis fuchsia in it. Um, but I just, they write super smooth. I'm not worried about breaking them. I actually bent one of them totally out of shape one day, not paying attention. Um, managed to, you know, bend the tine back. It writes beautifully still. So definitely durable. Um, not, uh, and some of the colors are fun. These ones, these, well, not this guy, but these ones are part of a new collection that was just released, I guess, from the past couple months. Um, there's also, this one's the pink one. There's also like a red one that I didn't grab. No idea why I didn't, but um, I like these because I can flip different inks in them and uh, yeah, and they're fun. I will likely give a couple of these to my son um, once he gets to that point. But for now, uh, it's good enough. You'll notice I have a lot of pilot pens. I just love how smooth they write. I don't seem to have any problems with them. Um, yeah, and I like them. So the next bunch of pens are these guys. So these are the Kaweco Sport. Um, all of these are all the same pen, uh, different size nibs. Um, these are a pocket pen, so um, you can actually buy the. So they come without the clip, uh, and then you can you can purchase the clip and just stick it on. As a side note, if I can get this guy off, whoop, hold on, this guy might come off easier. If I can, all right, I've been proven wrong. I've I got them on so well, but anyways, these actually fit on. Oh, this one comes off. There we go. These ones actually fit on the Kakuno. So if you're looking for a clip for your Kakuno, the Kaweco clip actually fits um, on the cap really well. Uh, and uh, and you've got a clip. So, but uh, these ones themselves, so they come like this, and then you can just slide on the clip. So yeah. So these ones are all the Kaweco Sport, and this is the uh, AL Sport uh, in rose gold. So it's a little bit heavier uh, than these, um, but it's essentially the same nibs. They write beautifully. Um, I, I like these for a couple reasons. One, again, not super expensive. Um, I think they're 30 bucks. And when I talk about how much these are, it's in Canadian dollars, not US dollars, uh, since I'm in Canada. So these ones write really well. Uh, are they small? So you can check them in your pocket. Uh, that's kind of the idea. Like throw a bunch of these uh, in a pen case. I feel like they're they're super, you know, they're really good. I don't feel like they're going to get scratched up, um, which is nice. And then they unscrew. And then if you were to use just this, like it's, it's really small. I don't have huge hands, but... Uh, I wouldn't do that. So these ones post. So I just stick the, back, the cap on the back and then you're able to write, uh, which works really well. I initially started with the fine nib on these and I do like it, especially when I'm working in my Hobonichi Weeks or in my uh, Planner Monkey Co. Just a uh, small grid notepad. Um, it works great. But when I'm writing cursive quickly, my favorite with these is the medium. 
Uh, it just writes so well. Um, so I love that. So I definitely use that, uh, use the mediums a lot. Um, this one's actually a bold, um, and I got it for kind of titles and other stuff. Uh, but yeah, I, I do like it. Um, there's actually double bold. There's a bunch of, uh, and then there's five different, um, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. Um, stub nibs. Oh my goodness. Sorry. That was really hard. Uh, yeah. So these ones are a little more expensive. I think they were in the hundred dollar Canadian range. Um, to be honest, I, I got one of these. I like it, the rose gold, but I actually kind of, I'm totally happy with these and they're at 30 bucks. I could get a whole bunch of these for the same price. So that is those ones. And I really like, I haven't had any problems with them, both the, the pile, the Kakunos and the Kawakos. I've had no issues. Um, so yeah, so I really like them. So the, this pile are the Twisby. Uh, so I have, whoop. so four of these are the Twisby Eco. Uh, and then this one is the 580 uh, in Prussian blue. So uh, what's really cool about these guys is that it has a huge, um, huge capacity for ink because uh, like you just fill, you're filling essentially the, almost like the body, whole body of the pen with, uh, with ink. So when, if you're going to write a lot and you, you're not going to be changing inks a lot. Um, these are pretty great for that. Uh, the Kaweco, uh, really tiny converter, um, not very big at all. Uh, so you're definitely going to be refilling it. Um, not a big deal if you're working from home when you've got your inks, it's pretty quick. Uh, the Kakuno, um, if you have the Con 70, which this one does, it's a de it's a really good amount of ink, but I also have the Con 40. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it is a lot smaller. So I find that I often have to refill that one more often. Um, not so much on the brighter colors because I don't use them as much, but the pens that I have black in, especially my platinum carbon black, I use that color for everything. Um, so yeah, so I have, um, I've tried the stub nib, which I like the pen, but I haven't used, I'm not someone who's really um, into the stub nib pens. So I likely let that go. Um, these are also like, I think they're 30, like the rose gold ones and the 580 are more expensive, but the regular Twisby goes same thing. They're like 30, 40 bucks. Um, not very expensive, really good pen for people to start with. Um, I've enjoyed them. I've started to really, as I've been playing with different brands and different kinds, know what I really like. So for the Twisbees, they're really good, good starter pen. I would probably, I'm probably going to be, um, desatching a bunch of these just cause I don't reach for them. Um, I would prefer to refill my cartridge, um, on the pens that I really love. Um, but yeah, but they're super nice. These ones are my babies. So I took the suggestion from someone to try um, the Pilot Vanishing Point slash Pilot Decimo. Um, now, some, some people think that these aren't shouldn't be considered fountain pens because they don't look like your traditional fountain pen. But what is amazing, what I love is the fact that it is a retractable pen. And I am constantly using my pens, putting them down, picking them up again. So I love the, I love these because I can just like click and go. Uh, I don't have to worry about them drying out. Um, They're pretty awesome. So uh, I have, if I split these, these three are the uh, Pilot Vanishing Point. So they're the full size. So they're a little bit larger. And then these two are the Decimo. So if I put, here, put the two, well, no, uh, put these two together. I don't know if you're able to really see it on camera, but these guy, this guy, the vanishing point is a little bit bigger than this guy. Um, so it's really a personal taste. The inside guts, um, so you would undo it, pull it out, and you've got the converter and the nib unit. So, um, which is great. <laughs> this is actually a black tip, which is actually goes in one of these, but I wanted, without changing ink, I just wanted the, that pen or that ink in this pen. So I actually just threw it in this pen and I don't even have to worry about changing it. So I love these. Um, I do, I wish that matte came in more colors. Um, I really like how it, this isn't slippery. Some people don't like the clip because this is the end that you hold. Uh, for me, I tend to naturally hold my pens closer to the tip. Um, so what I found is that I really like these because I can really hold uh, close to the tip and write well. Whereas some of the other pens, um, this is a Pilot uh, Custom 74. It, the, because this is longer, you're holding further up here. And sometimes I find that a little less comfortable, um, which is why I think for these guys, uh, yeah, I just love them. I can't say uh, enough <laughs> good stuff about them. I started with Extra Fine. The Extra Fine on these babies is ridiculously fine. It is, yeah, I couldn't I couldn't handle it. So I sold my, sold the nibs, uh, the fine, the Extra Fine nibs, 
and I have um, three fine nibs and two medium nibs and I actually have a bold nib uh, unit coming in uh, as well. Uh, well. I can flip flop them and go from there. But these are by far, if you were to take my fountain pens away, these are the ones that I would hold on to uh, for dear life. Uh, I absolutely love them. I would not let them go. And out of all of these, the purple is my favorite. Um, you can get them in limited editions, but I find it just takes forever. Like, they're super expensive. They're in Japan. Um, so I, I do wish the Decimo came with more colors, easily accessible in the same price point, but eh, it is what it is. So this is my last little pile. So these are my one ofs. Um, I did have a number of other ones. Uh, I had a Platinum 377, 3776, which I really liked, but it wrote beautifully. It wasn't scratchy. I just didn't reach for it. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to start paring some of this down. Uh, these guys aren't going anywhere. Um, to those that I love. And if I'm grabbing them, I'm using them, they get to stay. If I don't use them, then they're out. So um, this was actually one of my first ones that I got. Um, it's uh, a Narwhal pen and it's the Peter Draws edition. They've had, I think, four different colors now. Uh, I think the latest one is uh, an ocean. So that where these like kind of tealy swirls are, they're actually dark blue or a brighter blue. Um, so yeah, so this, uh, I think it was about 60 bucks American, 75 Canadian. Um, it's got a same thing as the Twisbees. It's got uh, lots of space for ink, um, which I really like. This is a fine nib and it writes really well. Um, plus it's cute. Um, so I like it. I find that I wouldn't use this so much in my Hobonichi weeks because the grid is really small. But uh, when I'm writing cursive out, it's smooth, no stops and starts. Actually, all of these pens have been I've been very lucky that way, but I just think this one's really pretty. It's a demonstrator, so you can see the ink. I have the Iroshizuku uh, Tsukiyo in here right now, but for the first four months that I had this, it was the uh, Kujaku, uh, which is kind of that tealy color, which looks really good in this, but oh, I like this pen. It's going to stay around a while. This is my latest pen that, um, that I got. It's a custom, a Pilot Custom 74. So it writes really well. Um, it's smooth. It's got a really cute uh, really cute nib. I don't know if you can see this or not. Um, it's not as big as the seven, the three, seven, seven, six. So the one issue that I found with found with three, seven, seven, six is I had to hold it up higher to write. And I just, it doesn't fit my writing style, just the way I want to, you know, grip the pen. Maybe I need to change the way I grip a pen, but I, you know what, I'm 42. This is just the way that I write. Um, so with this one, I find I can hold it a bit lower. Um, and it writes really well. Um, typical pilot, uh, fine nib, um, I don't think this one is as, as pretty as some of my other pens, um, you know, either colorful or just stylish, but it's, it's cute and it, it really does the job. It writes well. I mean, really that's why we have a pen, right? So that we can write, I mean, this Lamy I found, I must've bought it like years ago and then forgot that I had it. Uh, I don't love it. Uh, Lamy is a super popular brand. A lot of those who love it, love it. Um, I just, I use it. It writes well. It just doesn't wow me. Um, but like I said, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I'll probably move this one on to somebody else. I love the color though. It's super pretty. But for whatever reason, um, just the way right. This is an extra fine. Um, I don't know. Like I love the pen. Love it looks well. But just when I'm writing with it, I don't love the writing experience. So I've decided if I don't love it, it's not perfect. Then I will move it on. Um, this is a pen that I. <laughs> this is a Diplomat Arrow. It's a totally different pen from everything else. It's very heavy. Um, okay. Very heavy is relative. Um, you know, I compared to this one, there's definitely a huge difference. Um, not as much as this one. So the vanishing point, it might be a little bit heavier, but it's still very nice. Um, it's got a beautiful nib. Uh, it's a very big nib. Uh, I almost had the same issue that I did with the 3776 where I really have to hold it up higher, uh, to write. So, oh, sorry about that. Um, it's got like a, the cap closes really, it's very satisfying. You can uh, cap it uh, and write with it, which works out well. Um, I listed this one for sale because I, was, I had two of them and I decided I was going to sell them. The pink one sold. Uh, I still had this one listed and then I started pulling it out to try because I had a whole bunch of inks I wanted to try. Um, so I put uh, the Tsutsuji uh, in here from Iroshizuku. And actually like the, this one's staying now. I'm going to pull it off of the for sale because I actually enjoy writing with it. Uh, so it gets to stay, which is awesome. So like I said, that's kind of what I've got right now. I've bought and sold a bunch at this point of the ones that I love, ones that I don't like. Um, obviously I like bright colored pens. Um, 
everyone's got personal differences. Uh, a couple of like random points to note if you're not fountain pen people. Um, the Japanese brands tend to have a finer nib. So if you have a fine in Japan and a fine in like a German uh, nib, you're going to have a It's going to be different. The, the Japanese will always be finer. Um, so that's something that's good to know um, when you're comparing them. Um, but yeah, feel free to throw questions on if you want. Like I said, I just thought I'd film something today because it's been so long. I probably won't even edit this. I'm just going to post it as it is. Um, but yeah, so these are some of mine. Um, obviously this exploded way more than I thought it was going to, um, when I initially got into fountain pens. Um, but yeah. And if, for those who asked me what my favorite pen is, uh, that is not a fountain pen, um, if you don't know by now, for those who aren't following me, it's this guy. So this is a friction, a pilot friction. I actually really like pilot pens, uh, pen. Anyways, um, this is the friction pen. So this is the 0.4. Uh, so it's super fine. Um, it's not a very dark uh, black pen. It's on the lighter side, but I love that it's erasable. So I'm a huge fan of this. Obviously I'm not going to write a check with it or put some important signatures down with it, but it writes beautifully. And I just love that I can erase it. Um, when I make a mistake, the perfectionist in me really appreciates that. Anyways, that is what it is. That's what I got. I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.